Hello and thank you for joining us today. My name is Geraldine Gallen. I'm a senior diabetes specialist nurse at King's College Hospital in London. And today we're going to talk about success in auto mode. So this webinar will not replace your auto mode training. It is purely there to help and support all of you that are already using auto mode. Today we're going to look at the goal of auto mode and in the series of videos we're going to explore some of the questions, frequently asked questions that I get asked in clinic and also we'll have Alice who's one of my patients, a 670 user who will also give her tips on everyday life living with type 1 diabetes and using the auto mode feature. Auto mode is designed with safety in mind and although the pump is aiming to keep your blood glucose levels around the 6.7 the goal and the target is actually to keep your blood glucose levels between the 4 and 10 millimole target range. You'll be able to see where your blood glucose levels are sitting on the insulin pump. And on the screen right now, you'll be able to see the button pressing that will talk you through the different menus to find that. So you may be wondering, how does auto mode work? Well, auto mode is calculating your body's insulin requirements every five minutes. And this is what we call auto basal. And you can actually see this demonstrated at the top of your pump graph with the pink dots, which shows how much auto basal is being delivered. The pump takes into account the sensor glucose readings, along with where you are from your target and the speed in which your blood glucose levels may be rising or falling. The pump uses this calculation to keep you in that target range away from hypoglycemia. Auto mode also takes into account the bolus insulin, so the insulin that you have already delivered through your food and corrections. And you can see this information from your home screen. The pump has been designed with safety in mind. It calculates the insulin for your insulin requirements and needs over the last six days, and it recalculates this insulin again every night at midnight. And the idea is that the insulin pump is continuously looking at your insulin requirements with safety in mind to keep your blood glucose levels within the target range, safely away from hypoglycemia. So now that we know what auto mode does, we need to know what auto mode doesn't do. So auto mode does not dose off patterns. So if you're somebody who wakes up every morning and their blood glucose level starts to rise, auto mode will not remember that you will need extra insulin at six o'clock every morning. Because what about on the mornings that you don't need that extra insulin? You wouldn't want the pump to remember that and to give you extra insulin where you do not need it. And again, auto mode is based with safety in mind. So it's recalculating that insulin every five minutes. Auto mode also does not correct large meal mismatches. So for example, if you were going to have a meal but for whatever reason you didn't finish that meal and didn't complete the amount of carbs that you were going to eat, auto mode will not know that. And so that's where you are still in control and still in charge and where you have to work together with the auto mode system to prevent hypoglycemia. Auto mode will also not remember what you've eaten in the past. So if you're somebody that has the same typical breakfast every mor morning, auto mode will not remember that. It's really important that you accurately calculate your carbohydrates and also ensure that you are bolusing 10 minutes before every meal and snack. Auto mode is designed to work with you and these are your roles in helping auto mode to be successful. Okay, let's have a look at this person's blood glucose profiles overnight. Here we can see four different nights with the times between midnight and 3 a.m. The blue line is the patient's sense of glucose and the green bars, the corresponding green bars at the bottom are the autobasal. And what you can see is where the insulin delivery of the autobasal is different every night. Here the pump is maximizing the patient's individual requirements and their individual needs to keep them in that target level. Can you imagine what the system would be like if that wasn't available? Some of you may have come from systems where you had a set basal rate every single night and possibly woke up with different blood glucose levels every morning. You may also remember from your training that the pump is aiming for a glucose target, a sensor glucose target of 6.7. 
And some of you may be asking, why am I not seeing more sensor glucose readings at that glucose target? Well, what we've got to remember is the aim of auto mode. And the aim of auto mode is to keep your blood glucose levels between that four and 10 target range. And there will be times where you will be still above or below that target. But auto mode is there still with safety in mind, where some of you may have been used to lower targets or may have more aggressively um, attacked those higher postprandial readings. You need to be patient with the system and work with the system which is then going to aim to keep you in target level more frequently to improve your HbA1c, but ultimately also reduce your hyperglycemia.